Lord to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are in all places and fill all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us and cleanse us from every blemish, and save our souls, O blessed one. Holy God, only mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, only mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, only mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and on ever and forever, Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. O Master, forgive our transgressions. O Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. With thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord. 
according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity and my sin is continually before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil before you, that you might be justified in your words and prevail when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved the truth that hidden in secret things of your wisdom you have made clear to me. You shall sprinkle with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. The bones which you have humbled shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create a clean heart of me, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and with your governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors your ways. And the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, who are the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifices, I would have given it. With open offerings, you shall not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. All heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall you be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation of open offerings. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We, the faithful, who pray and worship the Word, eternal with the Father and the Spirit. He was born a virgin for our salvation. He willingly ascended the cross in the flesh and suffered death. He raised the dead by his glorious resurrection. Now and ever and forever, amen. O birth giver of God, you are the true vine who has blossomed forth the fruit of life. We beseech you to intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Bless the Lord God, bless the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, only mighty one, only more to one, have mercy on us. Holy God, only mighty one, only more to one, have mercy on us. Holy God, only mighty one, only more to one, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, come to us of our sins. O Master, forgive our transgressions. O Holy One, come to us and feel our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the key to power and glory, of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
taste our bodies, set our right our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Encompass us with your holy angels so that guarded and guided by their watch, we may attain to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of your heavenly glory. For you are blessed forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The more honorable than the cherubim, and the uncle, the more glorious than the seraphim, who as a virgin gave birth to the Word of God, through the fear of God, we magnify you by the intercession of your saints. Bless the Lord, O sovereign God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, O Holy Spirit, one God in power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which you know, save me, your worthy servant, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our Lord, glory to you, glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless us with the prayer of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God. Have mercy on us and save us. Amen.
most reverend Metropolitan Gregory for our esteemed priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Thank you. 
He said to the paralytic, Take up your bed and go to your house. And he arose and departed to his house. And when the multitude saw it, they marveled <coughs> and glorified God, saying, And glorified God, who had given such power to
then yes, we can we can know how to bless those who are persecuted us. We we will know how to lead that Christian life to its fullest. So look at, look again when you when you have the opportunity later today. Look again at this at this short section of St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. Reread it again and. And, and see, do I, do I honestly, not just on a surface level, but deep, deep down in, within your heart and within your soul and each and every single day to everyone you meet, not just those who you like. Are you, are you, that, are you that type of person that, that St. Paul is talking about? Do you use your talents for the, for the benefit and for the, for the growth of, for the growth and for the, for the up, for the uplifting of the church, as Saint Paul says, to, to anticipate the needs of the saints as your own, as we, as you look around the saints, the holy ones, the rest of the body of Christ. Do you anticipate the needs of the others as much as you anticipate the needs of yourself? Do you do these things? And, and, not to, and again, not just on a surface level to, to make yourself feel good, but deep down, do you practice them day in and day out? Are they such a part of you that, some, that you do them really without, without even thinking about it, without maybe taking notice that they, are, that they have become such a part of you? That's the way that, it's, that's the way that it should be, that it should be such a part of you that you don't even really have to, that you really don't even have to Take notice. You just know that they're being done. So read that section of St. Paul's letter to the, to the Romans once again. And look at it. And, and seriously consider. Seriously look at your life. And do you follow it? And, do, and are you a part of what St. Paul is talking about today? We pray that you are. We pray that we pray that we all are. And together, as we as we anticipate the needs of each other as our own, and as we as we preach and teach and 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 live that Christian life together, that we all help one another in attaining that which Saint Paul is talking about here today. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God.
There are sins to forgive, in charity be not in your name. Send your church in this hour and every age vessels of clay to be instruments of your presence. Hear us, O Lord, and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Christ, I ask you for your forgiveness.
and an only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, gracious, and life hurting spirit, now and ever and forever. Oh.
which has touched your lips shall take away all your iniquities and shall cleanse you from all your sins. O God, save your people and bless your
Life and Older, um, Divine Liturgy will be at 9.30 on Wednesday, so if you fit that demographic of over 65 and older and you wish to come to the liturgy that day, if you've not already uh, spoken with me, please give me a call and let me know that you'll be here. Uh, confessions are being heard by appointment. Uh, if you wish to have your confession heard, please call me and we, we will make an appointment uh, for you to come to the church uh, for, uh, to meet with me for, um, you know, for the sacrament. Uh, also, as well as home visits uh, are resuming uh, for those of you. Uh, also, as well for those of you who are not yet comfortable uh, coming out but would still like to receive the sacraments, uh, please give me a call to set up an appointment for me to go to your home uh, to either make a, a sick call visit or to, uh, or to take the sacrament. Uh, grocery gift cards are still available from Giant uh, if you wish to. If you wish to purchase any of those, please contact Mark and Marie Sudik, and they will uh, get those mailed out to you. Uh, uh, during the week, uh, especially during this week, this is for everyone, during this week, uh, temperatures are expected to soar. Uh, upper, upper 90s range, the index is 100 or more. Uh, yesterday I heard something that tomorrow could feel like 110 or more outside, so please, if you have to be outside, make sure that you stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, stay indoors in the air conditioning as much as possible. Um, I know we're all used to staying indoors lately, but still stay in, uh, if at all possible, over these, uh, over these next couple of days. Uh, although our last or Saturday cleaning day was canceled uh, back a number of months ago, uh, there's still a number of things that need to be done here around the church, um, but not this week, because uh, some of the things are outside stuff. Uh, but if you wish to sign up to uh, take care of any of those assignments that are, that are posted in the bulletin, please contact uh, Mark Sudik and also let me know so that we can coordinate a time for you to come out and take care of a number of those tasks. Uh, this week is Camp Week. Um, believe it or not, it, uh, it is Camp Week. It is Virtual Camp Week, the first of its virtual camp. And we pray that it, we pray that it goes well. Uh, to all of our parents whose uh, kids have signed up for camp, uh, you should have received an email by this point uh, with links and probably even a package of some stuff through the mail. Uh, all that should have, all that should have arrived. I remember that with one and two are being combined in this coming week. Um, and uh, I look forward to playing our part uh, or part part or being a part, I shouldn't say playing, but being a part of uh, of this camp experience as the as the uh, as the week goes on. Uh, we did say that uh, yesterday, yesterday we did say that uh, it's evidence and Brother Steve's my leader and the entire staff. And I mentioned that Stephen, uh, our leader Stephen, he is one of the is one of the ones on the staff that I. Completely slipped my mind, but Jacob Myers is also part of the staff as well this year, coordinating uh, coordinating this virtual camp. So we do have we do have uh, a good 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 representation of the resurrection there, uh, working working trying to help out and making making this uh, camping experience to be as good as as good as possible. And as I said in my note, I look forward to talking to the campers uh, toward the end of next week and and into the weeks coming uh, to hear how it went, uh, it, it went for, uh, with, for each and every single one of them. And finally this morning, uh, for those of you who have not picked them up yet, um, in the, um, in the uh, in the landing area on the top of the stairs, we do have the Holy Ghost of Palms that were blessed on, on Sunday. Uh, if you have not yet taken those home, uh, there are still there are still some there for you to take home with you uh, when you when you come to liturgy. So remember what St. Paul has said as in this little section of, of his epistle to the Romans on how to lead a Christian life. It's not, it's, it's, he's, he's telling the people what to do. He's telling the people, he's telling the people of Rome, this is how you need to do it. This is how you, you need to go about it. And he's telling us the same thing. So reread that section. Reread that again. That section and examine your and examine your own life and see see where you are doing well see where you can improve in all of that of what Saint Paul is telling us and and it's not just a matter of knowing it within our knowing it within our minds but 
but also putting it into practice and doing it with our whole, with, with, with our whole heart and living, once again, living that life like Christ wants us to lead. Have a blessed week. May the blessing of the Lord through his grace and love for mankind be upon you now and ever.